I have tried a couple of times using cheap pencils and it actually works really really perfect Hello everyone and today I'm doing a review on two um, special um, pencil sharpener and I would say it's rather special because this pencil sharpener that I got it yesterday isn't really very cheap it cost me about uh, $25 after this store discount and so before I open up this and explain to you why this is really special um, what I have been using currently is this electric pencil sharpener that has a um, two sides of the uh, sharpener inside this um, automatic electric sharpener and let me demonstrate to you how this works I have a bag of um, pencils and stuff and let's grab one of these and try out so what this electric sharpener does is once you insert this pencil into the sharpener this motorized sharpener spins around this pencil and sharpens it so instead of you turning the pencil to sharpen it the motor turns around the pencil to sharpen it well it just looks like it's kind of a, a little bit of a convenience for everyone just like that and you get a sharpened pencil after a while right there you are so before we get on to this special brand new sharpener um, if you're first time in my channel I would uh, want you to subscribe to my channel so that you can enjoy watching such a similar videos during my next upload and if you like this video of course give me a like and share this video so without further ado let's open up this special sharpener right here and ta-da it is not automatic so this is a manual sharpener well i guess you guys might say uh, well this is better right yeah yeah this is better but after some time the battery actually loses power and then you have like a very sluggish um, sharpening because it does just, just like that right so sometimes i get a bit frustrated and then if you use really cheap pencils like like this one it doesn't sharpen well and it just cracks off the tip of the pencil because of the quality of the wood that is being used but not on the new one I have tried a couple of times using cheap pencils and it actually works really really perfect and in a way perfect as in if you check it out right let's demonstrate with this pencil so right now it's like this I do have another one um, right yes similar one and this is the blunt one I'm going to do on this just like that insert in and just give it a spin and it's almost done right so if you compare to that uh, yeah uh, you can even sharpen it to a really pointish tip give it a few more round whoa press right just as good as the electric sharpener but let's try on this cheap pencil you can you can you can really um hear the difference this sounds really solid wood and this hollow I mean like the wood is not as dense as quality pencils does right let's go ahead right. so how long does it take to do it um, that's good right so I have a few more couple of them um, 
almost done. But then you can just try this again. Right, it's done. We have three now. All in good shape. Including the chip blender. And we have a couple of them more. We can try out all of them. Oh yeah. I wonder why I have so many pencils. Oh, look at this. I think this is a good example of... Okay, let's try this out, right? I hope this works. Push it in. And... Okay, it's done. Yeah. Look at that. Check this out. Alright. So let's explore what this thing does. Okay, right now this is not exactly what we have here like the electric sharpener that has a, sharper, a, a plastic sharpener that's inside with a blade um, chipping, off, chipping off the edges to make it into a sharp point so the problem with this kind of uh, sharpener is because over time the blade gets blunt and the battery gets weakened and then you can't really shave off and then what do you do? You run it off with a mechanical pencil and just shave it off, right? So this is different because you notice that I'm not sure if you can see it but there is no blade what you see inside there is actually a grinder like a serrated helical grinder inside that as you spin this serrated helical grinding which is at an oblique angle actually kind of um, sh shave off bits a little bit of a time, a little bit of the uh, wood away, everything like this. So, like maybe I'll spin about five times, seven times of spinning, and then the tip is mostly uh, pretty sharp. So, uh, it doesn't get blunt that easily as the uh, blade type. And I, I, I look at the design of the uh, the helical grinding, whatever you call it. It's quite a substantial solid piece of uh, metal and so I believe this is gonna last pretty long time before it actually fails. Uh, but not so much about not sure about the plastic gears inside over here. But I believe if we do not force it too hard when something gets caught or jammed inside, we cannot easy off. I think uh, this should last and from what I discovered that there is actually a release spring here so uh, somehow when I tried to get a pencil in and it got stuck it kind of uh, released the catch on the spring um, not sure if it's really meant to be for this purpose but I, I, I felt that it actually stopped feeding the pencil in when it felt something was uh, jamming up inside so I, I, I believe it, that could be one of the features but um, if you have owned this similar type of um, pencil sharpener do let me know in your comments over here below um, let's try out on this broken pencil right I think it's done yes look at that Super. And guys, if you really like this simple pencil sharpener review, give it a like for this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you really soon again in the next video upload. Um, if you really enjoy it, remember to share and keep writing. <laughs>